Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of One Man Stream. Today we're going to create a PTZ camera controller for vMix using Companion and a Stream Deck XL. The title of this tutorial today is Creating a PTZ Controller with Companion and this is One Man Stream episode number 73. So this is actually what we are going to create. It's very simple and actually I was going to uh, entitle this tutorial creating a PTZ controller interface in five minutes or less because it really only took me about five minutes to set this up but I know uh, doing this in the tutorial is going to be considerably longer but uh, this is very simple to do now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these buttons right here uh, to change the PTZ camera and let's go to this because this is actually a uh, representation in the um, bit focus companion graphic interface so you can see right here where this says save preset one, save preset two, save preset three, and then recall. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the PTZ camera output, and I'm just gonna show you uh, these presets and then using these buttons how I'll be uh, controlling the movement of the PTZ camera. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to uh, preset three, and it takes me to Shoeless Joe Jackson. I'm gonna to go to uh, preset two, and that's Jackie Robinson. And I'm gonna go back to preset one, which is just kind of a overview look of the studio. So all I did is I used the preset buttons. Now I can also use those arrow buttons uh, that you see right here, these arrow buttons to control the PTZ camera, as well as these buttons right here. This is telephoto and wide, and then these actually change the speed of the pan, the tilt, and the zoom. So we have all this on this controller interface, and it's basically all you need to control this camera. So we're gonna go back to the output again, and then I'm just gonna joggle a little bit with these buttons. That's to the right, that's to the left, a little bit up, a little bit down, and then I'm gonna click home, and it's gonna center it back up again. We'll hit the telephoto. Actually, we'll widen it out just a little bit. That's as wide as it'll go. We'll telephoto, we'll come in, then we'll widen it out a little bit. And you can see how easy that is and how I'm doing it just through the stream deck. So let's go back to this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start completely over. I'm gonna to go to import export, and then I'm gonna click on this button here that says yes, reset everything. And you can see now we're starting with a blank canvas again. But there's a couple things that we need to do first. Let's go down here to where it says Studio Coast vMix, and we're gonna add that module. Now what we have to do is we actually have to connect companion module to vMix. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna to go to this look right here, and we're gonna go up here to where it says Settings and we're gonna click on settings, and then we're gonna come down here to where it says web controller. So this is what we're looking for right here, this IP address. So we're going to copy it, and you can see right here where it uh, has the 8088, so we're gonna copy the IP address. We're gonna come back over here to vMix, and where I had initially put in local host, actually we're coming back over here to companion, and where I originally put in local host, I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna put in that IP address. Now let's go ahead and hit enter. I'm sorry, hit save. And it goes to green. It probably would've worked for local uh, host if I'd have come down there and hit save, but we know that it works uh, with the IP address. Make sure that you do change that to 8088. So the next thing we have to do is we have to bring in the bird dog PTZ module right here. We're going to click add. And what we have to do is we have to find the device IP address. So the way that I do this in the menu bar, I type in HTTP colon backslash backslash bird dog dash. And then I need to type in the uh, five-digit identifier on this bird dog device, which, ha which happens to be this one right here. And it brings this in. So I'll type in my password, click OK. 
And this is going to show me the IP address, 192.168.85.14. So I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to come back over to Companion. I'm going to put this in here and paste. And it's the P200, the A2, A3. Click Save. And you can see where both of these are now green and they're communicating with one, with one another. So now this is where it gets really, really simple. We're going to go back to the buttons and we're going to click over here on Bird Dog PTZ. What we want to use are these camera control buttons right here. So we're going to click on camera control. We're just going to start dragging these into our template here. And the cool thing is, is companion takes care of everything else. So let's go with this one. We'll put home right here. Upper left arrow. Up. Upper right arrow. Down. Left arrow. Right arrow. Down to the left. And down to the right. Now we're also going to bring in, let's put these over here, telephoto and wide. And then this is where we bring in the pan tilt zoom controls. So this is pan up actually. This is pan down speed. So this would increase the pan speed. This would decrease the pan speed. We're going to go to tilt speed now. This here, if you hover over them, it's going to tell you what it is. So this is going to put the tilt speed down. This is our zoom speed. And let's hover over this again, and it says zoom speed down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the back button, and I'm going to go to presets. So I'm going to click recall, preset 1, recall, preset 2, recall, preset 3, and then save preset 1, save preset two and save preset three. So you can see we pretty much did this in under five minutes, but the proof in the pudding is to make sure that this is going to control our camera. So you saw we erased everything and started from scratch. So let's go ahead and bring our camera back in and uh, well, let's do this. So now you'll be able to see as I'm hitting these buttons, you can see the camera's moving. Go up a little bit, go down a little bit. We can zoom in, we can zoom out. And now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna save the preset. So let's go ahead and we'll save this as preset one. So I'm gonna click on this button here that says save preset one. And then we're gonna Come over here, we're gonna go up a little bit, and then let's uh, go ahead and telephoto in. And you can actually hit several of these buttons at one time. So as I'm telephotoing in, I can adjust. And we're gonna call this, we're gonna hit save preset two. So then we're gonna go over this way a little bit more to Shoeless Joe Jackson, and we're gonna make this preset three. So let's see if this works. Let's go back and hit recall preset one. And that's our main view. Let's hit recall preset two. That's Jackie Robinson. And let's go recall preset three. And that's Shoeless Joe Jackson. So we basically did it. We set up this PTZ interface on a stream deck. Um, not quite five minutes, but a little bit more. You can see why I said this is very easy and very straightforward. The great thing about Companion is, is when you drop and drag these presets over, it does everything else. It brings the commands and everything else over with it in the background. And it's uh, not as tedious to work with as some other uh, softwares are. So that's going to conclude this short tutorial today where we used vMix, BitFocus Companion, and a Stream Deck to uh, very quickly build 
a PTZ controller. If you like what we're doing here at One Man Stream, please give us a thumbs up and a like. Make sure you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. And if you have a chance, go to the One Man Stream website. It's onemanstream.com. And we have the videos and the graphics and the vMix UTC controllers that we've created uh, through this tutorial series. As always, thank you so much.